Hi guys, today I'm going to introduce you to something that is kind of like a game review, but it's on multiple games. It's from the Steam's Next Fest event, and because company has released a lot of demos and a lot of good games, I'll be doing a review on three games that I like the most. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and with the first game we'll go to Lost Nova. So, first game we have here is called Lost Nova. It's very aesthetically pleasing forger type game that revolves around this girl Mia, astronaut, cosmonaut Mia, that's stuck on another planet. And you have to repair your spaceship. I still don't know if it's only this planet or there are multiple planets, but we, you collect resources, you can upgrade parts of your suit and complete quests for villagers in the town gameplay wise it's very simple you can use the jetpack with the space button you have a battery down left which is for the jetpack the blaster it sometimes bugs and doesn't exactly mine, break, or whatever you call it. So you first plant this with these little apples that give you quests, tell you some story, and basically this world is like a tutorial. It's recommended to play it with a keyboard and mouse because it's like a twin, twin stick shooter. So I'd say story wise it's very good, at least the demo is 10 out of 10. Graphics, it's a very cute artsy, aesthetically pleasing art style. And it's very good, I really like it. It looks hand drawn and painted in watercolors maybe. And here's, here we're gonna get a little footage from it. This is the jumping tutorial about the jetpack. I'm giving 10 minutes on each game. I want to do a voiceover, but I don't know if I'll be good on editing it. So we'll get a quick 10 minute play. I hope you liked the video. Because I'm recording everything. <laughs> I want to first see the game, get to know it. Uh, these crystals are actually the money which you can purchase with which you can purchase stuff from the mechanic which is up in the forest. But you have to complete a lot of quests to be able to get to there. So for now I've only pick, picked up uh, the quest to deliver something to the Pink bear with the lighthouse, it's break time. I don't know if I have enough stuff to give to these guys. Let's see if I have. Oh, yeah, I did have enough rock glims, which are the items here. Wait, let me get paid. Okay, I got the muns. You can also buy upgrades for your suit, like uh, shoe shovels, with which you can dig the burrows that were in the upper left island. We just build a bridge at. Okay. Boom, let's upgrade. And now we have a crafting station. Currently, we can't craft anything because it requires a lot of plant based. Okay, flora glims. Later we'll have to craft a chair for another stranded pilot with which we'll interact soon. I hope I'll be able to do it in the these 10 minutes. Let's go. I just need to get a lot of resources. I'm guessing because you have the helmet 
maybe we'll go to other planets that are maybe toxic to the character. Or maybe this planet, downside, because I see this yellow gas. It might be poisonous. So, I hope we'll see a bigger story. I didn't exactly finish the entire demo, my first playthrough. But I managed to get some some of the part some of the parts that are required to fix the ship and help some little bears that escaped that ran away when I saw their father sleeping. Okay. Let's deliver the apples here. First this dialogue that I'm saying to everyone I'm basically an alien. And then asking for mechanics. I think I exhausted all the conversation. Let's go. Run speeding. You need to acquire tons of glims. And that after you made the mechanic, you can buy a machine which automatically converts them into money. Where does this lead? Let's see. To a turnip. You can actually upgrade your boots for faster walking, running, whatever. And I can say I especially recommend playing it with mouse and keyboard. It works with... It, I think it's uh, full controller support, but it's just not good. You mine with the triggers and with the right stick, at least on an Xbox 360 controller, you spin around like this. Uh, you jump with A, I think. And it's kind of wonky, because you have to hold A, then move the stick, and then press the trigger, which requ already requires three fingers to do on a controller. At least I'm the person to use the thumbsticks with my thumb, <laughs> and when I need to press another button for a combo or something, I use my index finger which is basically for the triggers but it's just not comfortable, it's not intuitive okay now we have a robot that we can save he looks, he likes going on top of high things to get a better view but is afraid of the heights and like always we're all afraid of something. Ah, let's help this guy out. Okay, I can't manage until I speak with him. Hey dude, I'll help you out. Let's go. Let's exhaust this. Apparently there's an ocean somewhere. Okay. Somewhere around the world. We already know about the forest. But there are giant trees there and mushrooms. Kinda like a mushroom biome in Minecraft. But this is giving me Stardew vibes. Maybe there's no farming, but the music kinda hits the same spot. And the graphics, although these aren't 8 bit. All the resources I believe regrow because uh, when I made the first run through, playthrough, I was circling around all the area. Actually, had an hour and, a, and something of footage because I like totally exhausting all resources. And at least these star rocks regrew. I could mine them again.
for now the story goes that you're going on a vacation and then you pretend that you're crashing but you actually do crash and that's the beginning of the game I don't know if it's just for the demo or for the whole game but that's all we have now let's talk to... oh we already talked to this quirky little red apple Boom. We collect nuts and bolts, which we can sell for money. And that overall concludes this review for the game. On to the next one. Next game! So, next game is called Unpacking. It's a Zen Adventure and... That's all, all there is, it's just unpacking. I'll be moving my whole setup, at least rotating it. So this game, first time I played it, uh, was really relaxing. You can just place stuff around and that's all there is to it. And... The graphics are very nice pixelated, detailed enough, but I still think there should have been some explanation to what the items are, not just the items as we see them. Let's put the boombox here, cassettes, and let's just put the books here. I really like the game, I would definitely be playing it. <laughs> when it releases because it's kind of my type and I hope there's tons of stuff to do later in the game and basically I really like it for gameplay it's just good simple with the mouse And that's all. Let's give it let's give this ten minutes. Like with all the other games. Oh this game this board game is called Procedure. Never heard of it. Where do you Okay, let's place the piggy bank here. So whenever you turn the knob on the radio it just self-destructs. Can I no, I can't hide these, they are sad. I, re I really like the dragon plushie though. Boom. Can I... Are these the same size? Nope, this is... Yeah, it's the same size as that one. I just order them by side, by size. Like so. Oh! I had a little Tetris game like this, but white. When I was small, extremely bootlegish. There are certain positions for some of the items. So, whenever you put everything, it tells you that maybe it's the wrong place. Okay, let's see if I placed everything correctly. Yes, I did. I'm extremely proud of myself. Next level. So, you can see that it's a very simple game, I extremely like it. Wait, we need a mouse pad, there it is, whoops. Just place everything. I believe these were clothes. Uh, okay, let's do it like so. Far left and far right. Oh, I didn't know that I could move the cam here. It's just pretty relaxing overall. It's 
put the pencils up there. These things up here, I think these are colored pens. Okay, let's do this by size. Oops. Uh, nah, the black, blue, the black book looks kind of special, so... Let's do it like so. On the blue book next to the other blue book. Come on, box down! Let's put the PC. Another box down. Uh, let's see, clothes. Nope. Some funny pictures. Let's put the... Plushy there. Okay, this is for the bathroom. Bathroom. Okay, let's see if we can fix up the bathroom faster. Because it's got little things that we can place. I wouldn't exactly place my perfume and deodorant there, but those are my choices. It's a very interactive game. Oh, you could even flush! I didn't know that. Okay, this is for here. Let's go like this. Whoops. Conditioner, shampoo. Let's place the toilet roll. Spares. Like so. I'm not gonna see what those are. This, I believe, is a trash can. And uh, we need a frying pan in the. That's right, bathroom. Okay, we're done in the bathroom here. Whoops, let's at least close the. Whoops. Stuff. Okay, so we've got a. Posing mannequin. Let's put this there. Now, jeans. No, no. Eh, I wanna click drawer. Drawer. Okay. Those are cassettes. Let's see how far behind I can place them. Yeah. Now let's do the boots. I wish I could organize my life just with a few clicks. I wanna organize everything this way. Sadly, it ain't that simple. Actually, do these fit in there? No, they don't. I have no idea what this is. Absolutely no idea. Yeah, uh, we need a toaster in the bathroom, so... Done. Speedrunning this thing. Let's fold the clothes. Let's put a picture of the monkey there. More boxes! Oh, that's just a school bag. Let's place it here. Yeah, looks good. Our iPhone or our iPad or something. Oh, the piggy bank's back. And the figurines. I want to do it from dark to lighter. It looks pleasing. The ball's back also. We'll find a place for it later. Okay, like so. Yeah. Like so. Let's not thrill this shirt up. These look like uh, pajamas, so they're gonna be in one place. Let's go. Uh, 
Oh, that's another roll of toilet papier. Why is it in this room? I don't know. Uh, this this game kind of reminds me for the game for get access for mobile phones by the graphics. It's pretty good. I played it, but I haven't still haven't beaten it. Let's put the sugar here. The cookie jar. I'm sad that I can't place plates vertically, horizontally. And that's about this game. Next game we have here is called Glimmer in the Mirror, which has some amazing art style. And I strongly recommend your controllers. It's very well optimized, so let's go. I already played... Oh my god, there's 20 saves! Okay, so let's start a new one. Yeah, I've selected an empty save. Or should I say emptiness? Just like we all are on the inside. So. We've got this cutscene. For the world building. That I'm not sure. I watched last time. The world reflected in the mirror. is so beautiful. Her hand stretched out to the beam of light and consciousness. And the mirror shattered. The sound of stormy waves came from the sudden broken mirror. The light went out as well. Do we begin now? Thanks. This is a long pause. Sound design is amazing also for this game. The graphics, perfect, adorable, beautiful, and very aesthetically pleasing, but the cutscenes don't match up the character model, which looks something like a chibi version. It doesn't exactly look like it, but the arms and legs kind of give it out. Oh yeah, we don't control it here, at least for this running. And the controls are very intuitive. They're just like every other Metroidvania. And I haven't explored this area. Last time I moved here. I, I didn't come here, so... The animations are good. Sound design great. I still haven't un un oh I actually unlocked all of the attacks. It's just two, like uh, main one and a charged one. Like here I'm getting the crown. And that's how uh, the actual story begins, how we get our powers, how we can attack. It's kind of an intriguing feeling. Boop 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 boop. And suddenly everything crumbles. Just like the other videos I may on this subject. <laughs> some didn't have audio. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna add some. But then it turns out that because I got this new fancy microphone, that I didn't really fix up the post and everything was just so quiet. Yeah, yeah, condensed demo version down. Yep, yep, yep. We'll see the full story. Now we have a uh, this May the Force Be With You attack. A ray of light, ray of hope. I hope. Everything is bright to stack in my future. Boom, mirror, which is a save. We can destroy rocks, kill enemies. There's a uh, not a big variety of enemies for now. These are statues. Give up money. I picked this game because it really looked like Hollow Knight. 
and you know I'm a sick Hollow Knight. Oh shit! My button is ticking. I have to clean it up, prob probably. Yeah, I have to clean it up. It's ticking. So, land dangers. This is one of the enemies, a flower. There's some hidden stuff, even in the demo version, which I really appreciate. Now we... Here is the platforming part. Look at these little cute fairies, dude. Up. Oh, another flower. Which attacks in a parable. I actually don't know if that, this is the English word. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. Now I have to get here. Boom. Everything keeps falling apart. Uh, no. I'll just go this way. I st we, we get damage, but I'm not sure... I know exactly how much HP each enemy has. Oh yeah, we need the charge stack for here. Let's go! Let's go get it! Attacks are something like... Sh uh, you get attacks here something like the shrines from Spir Spirit Terror. They are these bells. And I'll show you the charge attack right now. Vloop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just hold the button, destroy shit, get it. Boom. The charged effect is kind of not what I imagined for a charged attack. Because I expect the race to fully form into a big bottle in the hand. But. That's just a little problem, not, not a big one. Okay, we can go up from here. Up, oh, this is another type of enemy. Ow! I got hit. That's pretty normal for me, because I suck at gaming. But that's why it sometimes is funny, and I hope you guys enjoy watching me fail at games. Oh yeah, we've got these mirror seeds, which... I still have no idea what they do, we collect only two in this demo version. And let's see how much time we have left this video. Something is very good. Boom, broken shell. What could be the creature that made it, that left it behind? I don't know if there's a secret area here. I doubt it. You can just spam attack. Boom, bees. Attacks are kind of actually homing. But I'm not sure quite how they are. I don't know if they can be directed. Not sure. Oh, I think there's some 3D sound design here. Because I heard the breaking sound effect only on my left uh, headphone. Okay, this is the big creature that actually love, likes jumping. Let's hit him with a few charge attacks. Yeah. You can actually kill uh, monsters with environmental hazards like these spies below me. Oh yeah. This, I thought it was a harpy. It's actually a fairy. And it just... It runs away from me for now. The demo ends when we enter the fairy village. Which just looks like a village of harpies. But you know, can I skip this? So it doesn't waste time. Yeah, this is supposed to be... Ah! Not... <laughs> it sounds like laughing. I, I don't know how I feel about these... Emoticons above the the heads, which are instead of 
like actual animation. Boom! We have pets, guys! So, to equip a pet, just press the back button on the controller and then equip. Boom! We found a feather stone! It gives us bonus HP, basically. Pets have a variety of skills passive, active. And we can level them up, dudes! Okay, this bee is kind of in the way. I think charge attack actually go through enemies. Oh, we can't get there yet. Ah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, machine gun. These are acting like... Oh, I forgot the names. Ah. What they with the Jean Hollow Knight? Uh. Uh. Hmm. Oof. I'm thinking of Pokemon. So I'm thinking of. Oh. No! 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 I didn't want to come here yet. There was something here. Yeah, more fairies, health points, and attack points, I believe. The platforming is good. It feels beautiful. The environment feels very much alive not like in some other metroidvania games that I've played that just not mirror seed they just have a very dead atmosphere I also played in most which is good very good, I might do a video on it, if you guys want that. And this thing I'm doing now is not your typical review. Because I don't exactly do reviews, I didn't do many, I just give all my opinion on games. That's how I recommend games. If I don't like it, I wouldn't recommend it, unless I know it's a game you guys would like and uh, that's how I usually function because I recommend stuff I like and I'm happy with and I just can't recommend something that I wouldn't like so I'm honest about this ow I didn't know the flower hit from close I can't do this jump without the ball. So we've got the orb fragments, which uh, which can make a complete crystal or fragment orb or crystal something. Actually, this. Is almost 10 minutes this game so uh, maybe it's not but I'm speeding through it I'll leave it at the exact end because I enjoy this game because right now we only have to fight the boss I believe now there's going to be a dialogue bubble. Yeah, can we skip dialogue? We can't. Ah! I am afraid! Afraid even more! Yeah, scarecrow. Can I avoid my problems like this? Touch. Touch, touch. I really love the gradient that's on the main character's hair. It's a really cool effect. Okay, boss battle time! Ow! So this kind of acts like the first Hollow Knight boss. Oh yeah. And the Dunk Defender. Pulling stuff from above. And... Ooh. And 
by reflex, every time it rolls up into a ball, I... Oh, it's throwing feathers! Ow! Oh, I guess I was protected the first time. I never said I'm doing a zero hit run of the game. But I think I'm doing pretty good. Let's go! Boom! Boss is down! And... This is almost the end of the demo. We got a bit of story because this is Mama Bird protecting its baby. And that's why it attacked us. I hope there's a large variety of monsters in the game. And I really can't wait for it. Also, I can't wait for Silk Song, but that's just another thing. And... Uh, yeah, I think we have to just fast forward through the dialogue. Which is actually kind of scripted. And all this rattling was because the egg hatched. And boom, Mama Bird is okay, even though I kicked this, it's feathery booty. Let's see it hatching! Let's go! Oh, the crown had arms. Boom, now we have this beautiful art. It's kind of animated. Boom. But I don't get it how these things become those giant thingies. Because they look pretty different. But I don't know, maybe this world doesn't have our evolution. Maybe it's like a metamorphosis in Pokemon. And... Yeah, I'll have to follow her. This is basically the end of the demo. Uh, let's get another pet. I think there was maybe one more area before the fairy village. Boom, let's get the pet. Boom. Feathery pet, guardian wings. Can I like... Go somewhere else? Nope, there's nothing hidden, nothing secret in this area, but the tree is just... Look how beautiful it looks. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous! If you tell me you didn't like even the foliage here, you have no taste. I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. Okay, this flower doesn't look beautiful even when it's lit up. I mean, let me light it up, pop, pop, light it up, pop, pop. Yeah, demonstrate how we light up the flowers. Broom, broom. I'm not gonna say what these little balls of light look like. Boom, we've got platforms. It's not even... It's not pretty like this. It looks like... Uh, uh, like weeds. It looks like weeds growing from the concrete. Or maybe like a uh, almost dying sunflower. And that's what, that's what it looks like. Or does this break? Nope. And yeah, we're in the fairy village now. I mean the harpy village. Yeah, now this is the end of the game. We just get a glimpse of the fairy village. I am so sorry. Mm -hmm. All the fairies have different stuff on their hats, which I noticed, maybe those are shopkeepers, I'm not sure. But this is Mama Fairy. Okay, let's breeze through the dialogue so we can reach the credits.
So, graphics, I would say 10 out of 10. Gameplay, very good, again 10 out of 10. We'll see how it would be in the real game. And the story for now, I really can't say. For now the story for me is like maybe 5 out of 10. For the demo, we'll see the full game, how it would be. And I would strongly recommend this demo, it's fun. And now we're back to the main screen because we beat the game! So, if you guys enjoyed this review, I might consider making a few more of these. If I find enough dem demos on Steam, <laughs> I might even do full game reviews only if you guys like this. So remember, if you like this video, like it. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe to me, subscribe. Leave feedbacks in the comments, join our crew in Discord. And you can reach me there. And it's also a combined channel with the Sheep Broadcast. So we both can fulfill your dreams, guys. And again, thanks again for watching. And bye!